653 time for the morning sprint. The Wisconsin Department of Justice will investigate the Wausau mayor's removal of the city's ballot drop box. Voters and voting rights advocates are calling for a federal investigation. They claim Mayor Doug Denny violated federal voting rights laws by removing the drop box. The city has since placed a new drop box outside City Hall. Kamala Harris will be back in Wisconsin today. She is scheduled to rally supporters at Rippon College in the Fox Valley. Harris is expected to speak at 5 o'clock uh, later this afternoon, this evening. And new this morning, we found out that former GOP Congresswoman Liz Cheney will also speak at the event. Cheney served in the U.S. House until 2023 and sat on the January 6th Select Committee. Former President Donald Trump is also coming back to Wisconsin. He's scheduled to speak at the Dodge County Airport on Sunday afternoon at 2. This will be the former president's fourth campaign stop in Wisconsin in just over a week. Trump visited Prairie du Chien last Saturday. He then stopped in Wanakee and Milwaukee on Tuesday. This comes as an unsealed court filing says that former President Trump resorted to crimes after the 2020 election. The filing comes from special counsel Jack Smith's team. The brief adds that Trump did not do this as president, but rather as a campaigner. It comes after the Supreme Court ruling that says the presidents have immunity for official acts. And at least nine people in Beirut are dead after Israeli airstrikes. It comes after attacks on Israel from Lebanon on Wednesday. Hezbollah says Israel's attacks overnight struck one of its strongholds in southern Beirut. The Israeli military is warning people in southern Lebanon they will continue attacking. East Coast port workers are entering their third day of strikes. The roughly 50,000 of them are vowing to keep picketing until the U.S. Maritime Alliance meets their demands. The alliance has offered wage increases of more than 50 percent over the six-year contract. The strike is stalling transfer of goods along the East Coast and the Gulf Coast. The Wisconsin State Patrol is inviting people to their annual open house. It will take place at their DeForest Post on West North Street. Visitors can meet the Southwest region's troopers and inspectors. They can also explore specialty equipment, receive safety guidance, and learn about job opportunities. The open house is this afternoon from 3 to 7. A first-of-its-kind new study could reduce worldwide tobacco use. It suggests that the creation of a smoke-free generation could help save lives. So researchers in Spain found it begins with banning tobacco sales for teenagers. They say it could prevent almost half of future lung cancer deaths in men and about a third in women. Temperatures are still going to be in the 70s the next few days. Even Saturday, we're looking at close to 80. Not impossible. Few areas reach closer to that. Cold front going to knock our temperatures down to 69 on Sunday. Overall, really good weekend ahead. Some spotty shower chances tonight into tomorrow and Saturday night into Sunday. So not a lot of rain going forward. All right. Not looking bad, Savannah. Yeah. Thank you. We'll have a news and weather update in 30 minutes.